All right, looks like we're good. Hi, you guys. Welcome back. It's Amanda here. And today we're going to be doing a review on the Super Mario World ROM hack, Super Mario Radish Kingdom Adventure. Are radishes now my new favorite food or did I just find out I am deathly allergic? Come check out the verdict of this peculiar hack. Also, I will have the link in the description if you would like to try this game out for yourself. Anyway, let's get started. Super Mario Radish Kingdom Adventure is a full length game complete with 88 exits, over eight worlds and one star world. You can tell the creator put so much effort into making a challenging yet entertaining hack. And with it being considered a standard, very hard level of difficulty, I'd have to agree with that 100%. But it's not necessarily difficult in a way you'd expect. And it certainly doesn't look that way in the first half of the game. When I set off on the Radish Adventure, I was pleasantly surprised. Music choice, level design, and creativity were some of the best I've seen. Every level is different and creative, introducing new elements with every level. I remember thinking, wow, this might be my new favorite Super Mario World ROM hack. I was so excited. Unfortunately, this gorgeous looking radish has many blemishes hidden inside. By the time you enter World 4 and your guard is down and you think only more good things can come from this, the difficulty spikes in an unfair way. Now, I consider myself to be either average or slightly above average Mario player. I've been in a few Mario Maker tournaments and placing decent 4th to 5th among 30 to 40 other streamers. I only say this so you have an idea of my competence in comparison to the Mario Master gamers out there. By the way, follow me on Facebook at Rasperado Gaming where I play all of the hacks I review. So all in all, I wouldn't consider myself good, but I'm all right at playing. With that being said, I know when something is hard and when something is unfair. Now this game features difficult platforming, dodging tricky enemies, tough boss fights, all hard, but very fair. Combine that with Kaizo blocks, blind falls, enemies falling from the sky with no time to react, and fighting bosses completely blind. You have a recipe for rage quits, yelling, and a whole lot of therapy. Over half my deaths in this game were because of these unfair elements. Kaizo blocks are hidden throughout the level to reveal secrets or reach high places, which seems cool in theory. But in some places, they are put in an area that they can be hit by accident and force you to either fall in a pit or take damage to a nearby enemy. Now, this happened rather occasionally. Boss fights in this hack are very fair. Well, all except one. World 5 Castle contained an octopus boss where you needed to bop him on the head to beat him. Simple premise. Until he has one more hit left where I could only assume the octopus squirts ink because the screen goes completely black. You have to fight the boss in utter darkness. The boss fight would have been better if the screen just went slightly dim, where there was still some visibility than relying on luck in hopes you bop him one last time without dying. Not the funnest. Now, this game has a lot of height in the levels, meaning you're jumping up and down from platform to platform as you progress through the stage. This leaves a lot of the level unseen by the player, so very frequently enemies will fall from above and will land on you without you having any time to respond. The same goes with not being able to see what's below. This hack contains so many blind jumps, like so, so many. Some have small coin trails, but most are just a jump and hope for the best, which doesn't seem very fair. Now, I want to make it clear that this game is this creator's first ever hack, and for being their first one, it's a lot better than some other creators who have done this for years. I think fixing these unfair elements would make this more enjoyable and an absolute dream to play. To the creator of this hack, it's awesome. I can see the love that's put in it. And I genuinely see so much potential in you. And I look forward to your next game. Hopefully without any of those unfair elements. Overall, I give it three radishes out of five. It's not perfect, but I'm optimistic and eager for this creator's next game. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!